In this video, I will provide a quick explanation of the auto key cipher. So here's how this cipher works. Let's say we have the plain text, have fun today, and we want to encrypt this text using the auto key cipher. The first step is we have to choose a relatively short keyword known as a primer. So for this example, let's say we choose the primer toast. What we're going to do is form something known as a running key in which we place the primer in front of the plain text. So our running key will become toast, have fun today. Next, we need to place our plain text underneath the running key. Now the last step to form our cipher text is we're going to use this square grid known as a tabula recta. So this is a grid where the column headers are the alphabetical letters A through Z, and the row headers are also A through Z, and each row in the table is simply the alphabet in which the next row in the table is formed by shifting the previous row once to the left. So what we're going to do to form our cipher text is we're just going to look at the letter combinations of the running key and the plain text. So for example, we're going to identify row T and column H in our tabula recta, and we're going to see where they intersect. So row T is down here, and column H is right here. So we'll notice that they intersect at the letter A. So the first letter in our cipher text will be A. Next, we're just going to repeat that process again. So we'll identify our next letter combination, O and A. So first we will find O in the rows, and then we'll find A in the columns, and we will see that they intersect at the letter O. So O will be our next letter in the ciphertext. And we're just going to repeat this process for every pair of letters between the running key and the plain text until we reach this very last combination of N and Y. So if you do that, here is what our ciphertext turns out to be. So that's how we can encrypt the plain text to have fun today using the auto key cipher. All right, now let's check out an example of decryption. So let's say we're given this cipher text and we want to decrypt it using the auto key cipher. Well, in order to decrypt it, we must know the primer that was used to encrypt it in the first place. So let's say that we know the primer was toast. We know that the primer was used to start the running key, and we know that the running key was used to identify which row letter we should use. So what that means is that the first letter of the plain text, we must use T as our row. So let's identify T right here. And we don't know what the plain text was that was used in these columns, but we know that the intersection of the running key and the plain text produced an A as a result. So all we have to do is just identify A within this same row of T. And now we can just say, okay, well, what was the column header? And we can identify that as H. So the first letter of our plain text must have been H. So for the first letter of the plain text, we can write an H. And then we can just repeat this process again. So next we have an O. So remember, that's our row letter. So here's an O. And then within the table, we found an O. So let's identify O within the same row. So that's right here. The intersection of the column letter that produced this, it must have been an A. So for our next letter in the plain text, we can write A. Now we'll repeat this process for the next three letters, and we'll get to V, E, F. And once we have these letters, we know that the running key was just the primer with these letters placed after it. So what we can do is start filling in the characters after toast. So for example, H, A, V, E, F. So now we'll be able to use these letters for the combinations that we can find in the grid. And we'll just continue in this manner. And as we continue to decode the text, we can keep adding these letters to the end of the primer. So we would have a U here, and then we would have an N, and then we would have enough letter combinations to figure out the original plain text. And we will find that the plain text was have fun today. So that is how you can use the auto key cipher to encrypt and decrypt text.